Welcome back to Keto Riffy Journey with Mike. Well, one of the channels I follow is the Keto Twins. And they've got a great channel. If you haven't checked it out, check it out. It's really good. And a couple of years ago, they did a, uh, a Cheeto. Just using a cheese stick. So, that's what I'm going to try to do. Stick around. Let's see if Mike can screw this up. So in their video, they just took a cheese stick and they cut it. I think they cut it in half. Well, I, I did it in thirds because this isn't a square one. It's a rectangular, it's flat, but wide. So I cut it in thirds and it's cheddar. Um, and they heated the oven to 405. I think it's getting close there there so it'll be preheated in a minute and they they preheated it to 405 and they put it uh, they dried it out uh, the cheese out and this is what the cheese looks like it's dried out just let it sit without anything without it being in the wrapper after you cut it and you let it get dry it'll get some of the moisture out because you want it to puff and Theoretically, at least, this is supposed to puff. It puffs for them. Let's see if it'll puff for me. And I have no doubt it will. For this. But I have doubts that I will do it right. So we'll see. Um, going to do some experiments. Try and find out. It's supposed to cook it for five minutes. So I'm going to be putting it in in just a minute. Uh, as soon as we hear the beep. Oh, there's the beep. The oven's preheated. So let's stick her in the oven. It's in the oven cooking. It'll cook for about five minutes. They said to watch it, make sure it doesn't burn. So while I'm waiting, that cheese stick I had out, I'm going to eat it. So bon appetit. Okay, it's been five minutes. I took them out. Um, didn't get any puff, but it melted and they're going to crisp up. I have dabbed them with a paper towel, so you can tell they're going to crisp up nicely. I mean, these are going to be crisp. I don't doubt they'll be good. Uh, we'll see. They did, there is a little bit of puffing, so, you know, I have hope. I have hope. But that's, that's a little piece of it that broke off when I was cutting it. Let's see. Okay, not yet quite crisp enough. We'll have to see. Once they sit and cool, they'll crisp up enough to where it, it makes it um, crispy at least. And, now they dusted it with uh, Cheetos, uh, what's the word, a powder. I think they got it from the Cheetos mac and cheese. But I don't have any cheddar cheese powder or anything like that. So I'm just gonna wing it with what I got here and see what happens. Uh, and. I'm hopeful, I know they're gonna taste good. I got no doubt about that. It's just not sure it's gonna really mimic it enough to be a Cheeto, but we're gonna find out. Okay, I have asked the lovely Miss Paige to try a taste test. Now, I set out to make Cheetos. I fell short of Cheetos. They're not crispy enough for Cheetos, but they they do have a nice flavor to me. What do you think? I have a really good flavor. A little chewy instead of crispy. Right, right. Which and is what and you I said. think I needed to I think they need to dry out a little more before I cook them. They taste really good though. Yeah. Yum. You don't get any. 
I, I was following the Keto Twins, what they did on their channel, and I am quite sure I did something wrong, but and not followed it completely. And I think that it was I didn't let it dry enough. Oh. So we'll see. I, I'll try it again sometime, and hopefully they come together. Dry enough before you bake them? Before you bake oh, them. Oh, okay. You have to dry it out because of just it, it'll crisp up and make it want to puff on it. Puff oh. for them. They got it to puff. Huh. And so, and I have no doubt it worked for them. I got no doubt of that. It's just I know I didn't do something right. But, yeah. hey. Tastes good. I was going to say, at least they taste good. Oh, and in case you're wondering, yes, you saw me in a sweatshirt, a hoodie. And now you see my wife in a short sleeves and a t-shirt. <laughs> this is Georgia in the spring. We will change clothes about three times every day because you start out chilly in the morning. You need something like a sweatshirt. By the middle of the day in the afternoon, you got you get hot and you got to be in a, in shorts and a t-shirt. And tonight it'll chilly up again. So I already realized I need a, a sweatshirt. Cause I'm a little still, you, right now. you you made the transition a little early. Huh? Well, yeah. Uh, okay. Well, until mm. the next time, uh, this is Mike Keterific Journey saying let's be careful out there. Thank you.